right, we'll finish up tonight with Sean Hunley. We'll start with Ben and then go to Joseph. Sean, you were the star of Twitter uh, that month or two after the season came to a screeching halt <laughs> last year. I know you would have much rather had been playing baseball. What did that time look like for you in terms of trying to get better, although you weren't necessarily facing live hitters? Uh, yeah, it was pretty boring, I'll, I'll admit. Um, but me, Will Heflin, Chase Wallace, we all lived together, Zach Daniels. Uh, we would, you know, go out in the parking lots uh, where we live and we would throw. Um, and then other than that, I mean, we just played video games, stuff like that. But, I mean, we couldn't really do much else. So we had to find things to, uh, to do to get better. Sean, uh, watching you tonight, you had some fire in your eyes. I could see it. Uh, I could see it. How, where, where does that come from? Where is that fire that you use to, you know, throw the ball, you know, do your job? Where does that come from? Uh, I just come from competing every single day. You know, the coaches, you know, preach competing. You know, you want to go out there and do the best for your team, uh, give them a chance to win. And as, as a, you know, a reliever, the role is to, to keep the game where it's at when you come in. And I felt like I did that pretty well tonight. All right, go to Wes. Uh, yeah, great. can you get me now? Sorry, I think I hit you. Uh, Sean, with the way that you're attacking the zone right now, I mean, how much confidence do you have in your stuff to go out there? And I mean, I, I know you've got good stuff, but, you know, you're not really messing around with these guys. I think you got them. I think you averaged less than three pitches in a bat today. I mean, how much confidence do you need in your stuff to, to do that? Uh, it takes a lot of confidence, um, you know, with, with the hitting, you know, going like it is. I want to get the guys back in there as fast as possible. Um, you know, once we get more reps, stuff like that. And then, you know, when your defense is working behind you, uh, it makes it all, all of that better. And I'm also wondering, you know, I'm sure y'all have had chances and scrimmages and things to, to face your own hitters. And how much of a difference have you seen in, in Beck lately? It just, it looks like he's, he's squaring up just about everything he's hitting. Yeah, he's, he's probably one of the toughest outs we have um, when we were scrimmaging. Uh, but it looks like he's in slow motion right now. He looks like he's seeing it really well. And uh, you can you can see it in BP too. I mean, he he's taking some serious swings. Everything looks good. What he's doing right now. So hopefully he keeps that up. Back to Ben. Sean, did did you change anything about your game over the off season? Did you add a pitch? Change anything fundamentally, or or did you just really kind of harp in on the the things you really do well and just better yourself? Uh, kind of kind of keep it the same. I tried to um, you know get stronger. Um, maybe add a few miles per hour of velo. Um, and then I'm working on a curveball right now that's still a work in progress. Been working on that since the fall, um, but I haven't brought it out in a game yet. So, uh, so yeah. We'll go to uh, back to Joseph. You were getting a lot of uh, soft contact, you know, uh, uh, outs in the field. Do you pride yourself on doing that? Or do you, do you prefer, you know, getting the strike out uh, and, and seeing that ump call that third strike? Honestly, whichever one gets us back in the dugout quicker. Um, you know, when, when you're throwing fastballs like that and they're chopping at it, um, you just want to keep doing it. And then the defense is working behind you. You want to get in a rhythm. So I just kind of stayed with the rhythm and, and just kept throwing it in there, letting the hitters get themselves out. All right, we'll finish up with Wes. Sean, I know it's, it's really early in the season, right? And, and y'all didn't get a full season last year. But, you know, as you look at it, I think, what, 15-2 and two last year, you know, 6-0 and oh to start this season. Can you just kind of sense a change in the culture when, when your team is out there winning this much? I mean, I know it hadn't been SEC competition consistently or anything, but how much does that sort of change the culture when you see that much winning? A lot. Um, I remember my first year, it was nowhere near what it is now. I mean, every, everybody on the bench wants to compete. You know, it's somebody's job is to get water for somebody. They're, you know, they're doing it with, you know, no hesitation. I mean, everybody wants to win in the dugout, and it's fun to be around, and, you know, I'm loving it right now.